So hello and welcome to another video, fellow geology buffs. So in today's video we're talking about the Victorian Volcanic Plain. So this is an extensive area of eruptions in Southern Victoria. So if you look at a map of Victoria like here, uh, you're probably talking about roughly this region. Uh, where I live in Melbourne, so the northern part of Melbourne, is basically on former lava beds, so it's basalt. And this is Victoria Resources Online, uh, statewide. And they have a lot of different geological uh, information, so geomorphology. Uh, and this area specifically talks about the volcanic. So, okay, the volcanic plain. So this is the area. So you've got Hamilton around here. You've got Melbourne here. And you've got in between. And it's mainly agricultural and grasslands so got sporadic eruptions over a period of five million years and known as the newer volcanics because over this part you got the older volcanics and you got old volcanics going all the way up to queensland uh, you got royal light over here and granodiorite is intrusive but that's like 380 million years ago or something like that okay New volcanics, including the western uplands. So the uplands are this part here, which is the northern part of the volcanic plains, and you've got the uh, the Grampians is around there somewhere. Okay, and across to Mount Gambier. So Mount Gambier is over in West South Australia, not Western Australia, South Australia, roughly over here. So it's the newest volcanic eruption like 5,000 years ago much of the plains formed from lobes of lava which flowed from the eruption point overlapping to form a veneer of basalt lava according the flow varieties and thickness according to the underlying topography and presence of surface so you got a lot of information okay so you got the uplands the drainage across the volcano generally poorly developed yeah, because it's pretty recent. A lot of the water courses are just now starting to erode into it and develop a, a major river system. The uplift of the Otway, Otway Ranges, so the Otway Ranges is here, this triangle part uh, here, the Otway Ranges. And the disruption of drainage by the volcanic eruption resulted in the formation of shallow basins in central region. So around here you got a lot of uh, lakes. A lot of uh, a lot of them don't drain out. Uh, but we'll have a look on Google Maps soon. Okay. Okay, resulting in the formation of shallow basins in central region where most lakes include Lake Karangamite, so Lake Karangamite is the largest one. Now found fluctuating lake levels during the Pleistocene resulting in a lunette formation. So if you're not too sure what a lumen formation is, crescent-shaped aeolian deposits of sediment located on the eastern side of lake beds or players. Players are just dry lake beds in semi-arid areas of southern Australia. So the eastern side because the wind comes from the west. So and players. Uh, Shall I do prayers shed with intermittent filling? So if we want to look at a lunette, just Google it and we see if we can find some images. And no. Okay, so apart from those glasses, here we have lunettes. So these are pretty eroded and there's a lot of dry river systems Lake Mungo if you'd know about that where they found that one of the earliest fossils of Victorian uh, the indigenous people uh, does have um, lunette I'm looking for the lunette uh, I'm going to download this paper it seems quite interesting ok so you got the lunette so here's the lunette on the lake and it's just because the wind is coming this side and 
it's blown uh, sand whatever onto the other side so that's a lunette so we have uh, lunettes and there's a lot of other information so with uh, the Western Volcanics you also got a unique flora so here's some information and forming about roughly 100 kilometers wide covering 20,000 square kilometers the gently undulating plains of form lava flows up to 60 meters thick so this is more information 60 meters it can be so and a stutter with volcanic hills and a range of soils okay and you've got grasslands soil types are generally volcanic or alluvial so that means the alluvial would have come from the uplands and covered the volcanics they include a relatively nutrient rich loam clay loam sort of volcanic soils is clay and you've got loam which is silt and alluvial soils in the western volcanics plain fertile basalt soils are prone to cracking in dry periods and being seasonally waterlocked in wet periods so that's why it's used for uh, sheep and cattle uh, grazing not really for agri um, crops that you know like wheat or potatoes uh, they're usually grown on uh, pretty much alluvial type soils so yep and then you got some more information so this is from nature glenelg trust okay and the volcanic area is 2.3 million acres in area lies south of the western uplands stretches from Otways to southeast to south Australian border to the southwest of South Australia and here we have information about uh, the uh, this website just goes up and down okay so got so this looks like kangaroo grass uh, that is not too sure what parasophyllum vinea flower and here we are resting Gapang Lake yes and here we have some more information but that's not the subject of this video it's getting a bit long uh, but if we wanted to look for the actual volcanoes the eruption point you can start here at Wikipedia so this doesn't have much information but what it does have is a list of uh, volcanoes and it has an image of Mount Bonion that is I think that's near Ballarat and then so if we look at Mount Bonion uh, yep, near Ballarat, so I usually go past that. I never actually knew it was a volcano, but now I do. And it has uh, uh, some communication towers on it. Got Mount Fraser, Mount Hamilton, Mount Napier near, near Hamilton. And you can go to Mount Eccles, Mount Eccles National Park. And that is a nice place to go to. And you've got a lot of different ones but if we wanted to find a volcano on Google Maps what you need to do is go to the layers or terrain so this has elevation and I know there's a volcano close by my house Okay, so you need to look sort of like a semicircular because these volcanoes. So, if you're looking at uh, just the satellite image, uh, you really can't tell. If you go to the terrain, you can tell this could be an eruption point there. Then, go down south, follow Plenty Gorge. Oh, where is it? Okay. 
the tribe canvas the urban crate I'm not saying oh here you go bundle repack that's what I'm looking for there is a volcano here so Mount Cooper lookout that is a uh, Supposed to be an old volcano. If you go to terrain, doesn't say anything there. But if we go up north, here we go. So we've got one peak there, one peak here. If we go to the satellite, you can see that's a bit hard to tell, it's a volcano. But if you go up to the next one, you can quite clearly see it is an eruption point. And as you can see, they're quarrying it for scoria. So it'll be a scoria cone. And that's pretty much the closest point that I can get to, but it's private, so you can't actually uh, see it. If uh, you go to the roadside, and you can see this is basically what it looks like. So that's an old eruption point uh, it's been eroded by a bit so let's see if we can find any others so you go terrain again uh, there should be eruption points around here they look like there might be a few here so let's go satellite and I'm not too sure what they're doing there can we no, nah. so we can't see on the road. Looks like some more eruption points there. State reserve. Let's have a look at that one. No, nah. so you can actually see different photos. Sometimes people put up. Okay, so here we have the uplands. So if you want to go to volcanics, you usually have to go to the flat areas quite easy to see so here looks like we have another eruption uh two three hundred meters high and yeah looks like it's on the field but can we see no maybe here maybe on that road let's see if we can see Oh yeah, so that's it. That's definitely it. The eruption point. So that's basically, let's see if we can find some more. Should be quite a few, there's another one up here. Eruption point, semi-circular, drainage basin start, uh, drainage starting to happen. If we look on the map, uh, it's been turned into a field, but we might be able to see if we go up here, well, can we actually see? No, can't see anything there. Maybe on this side. Uh, looks like that is it there. Quite small. And the age is, well, we don't know what the age is. So... Let's have a look more. So you need to go to terrain. They're very distinct in the terrain because that just has the elevation. Uh, looks like them, is that one there? Might not be. Uh, could be. Looks like you've got basalt here. But if it's actually quite old, it could be just pretty much eroded. Okay, so this is a very interesting thing to do. So you're just going around looking for volcanoes. Oh, you can see the drainages. The rivers. And then you've got different elevations. So this up here is over 200 meters and this is under. So this is the 200 meter mark. And... Ooh, Maybe 
these uh, rivers forming in the basalt. Where they are rivers. And let's go down below. Oh, here you go. Here's a. Oh, go away. Here's a few. There's one there. One there. One over here. So let's have a look at this dairy nullum. So it looks quite high. And this is the center cone. So this is Mount Elephant. If you go to maps, you can see definitely. Oh, yes. That's beautiful. Uh, and yep you've got some photos of mount elephant so this is the caldera it might be scoria here's another one from the roadside uh, here's another one so this is a fence made out of the volcanic lava and another one actually it's quite high so that's a very good one to go to if you want to go to and find one, Mount Elephant. They probably would have put lava all over this area. So let's have a look at these ones. You can see quite clearly it is semicircular. How about the other one? There's another one over here. Definitely. So if we go to this road, uh, this side's got two hills. Oh, yeah. You can see the actual lava breach there. Um, where doesn't it have trees? So that was that one. Okay, looks like there's a... Okay, so this is the other one. Quite clearly you can see, you can see our basalt all in the fields. This is the actual volcano. And if you turn the other side, this is the other volcano. So two very close to each other. Like the old volcano, it's erupting in Iceland. And there's another one over here. So there's actually quite a few. If uh, So now we're down at Warrnambool. So now we're down at Warrnambool, we can look for Mount Napier and Mount Eccles. If uh, we go up, so you've got Bioduct. Bioduct has a lava tube. So, somewhere around here. That, that might be it, I'm not too sure. Uh, but, if you go by duct. So, this is a uh, national park. You also have um, Tower Hill. So, it's a form of volcano as well. So, you can see that. You have... Where's Mount Napier? So you've got Hamilton. MacArthur. Oh, Mount Napier is here. And here is the actual volcano itself. So when you drive through here, you can actually see this scoria. So this is Mount Napier. That's what it looks like uh, and you can get some scoria uh, I can't remember where I put the scoria from Mount Napier maybe I got rid of it but then over this side should be now Eccles somewhere anyway so you've got a lot of different volcanoes you can find so any down here looks like there's one here Yeah, definitely a volcano. I think we saw that before. Going down south. Uh, I don't see any more. Anyway, this is where I'll leave the video. It's actually quite long. It's probably a bit of a boring video. But do this, and you can actually find volcanoes that are in Victoria. And it's just a fun thing to do. You can actually plan your act. And also, you can probably go to this list. Uh, and see if you can find... These ones, you can check it on maps, images, uh, yeah, it has lots of images, so there you go. So that's actually quite a high volcano, 
Anyway, thank you very much for watching and have an awesome experience with your geology.